Hi guys, Kelly here from Our New Normal. Um, just a little disclaimer before you watch this video. What you are about to see is my nerve um, pain blocker shots that I had done today. Um, so they're real needles. If you're squeamish or afraid of needles, don't watch this video. If you're easily grossed out by such things, don't watch this video. Um, and if you're not bothered by such things, then I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you there. Mwah. Uh, but otherwise, we're pretty good. Mm -hmm. We can get our tree this weekend. That'll be. Do you nice. have a real one? Yes. We always have a real one. I've always so told my we... kids if you come home one year and mommy has an artificial Christmas tree, it is time for shady pines. Because <laughs> that's it, I'm, I'm done for now. I grew up with the real ones and Me I just too. can't give it up. No. Nope. Sometimes I see the sometimes I see the nice pre lit ones and I think, oh that would be really convenient. Do you know but what they is just start to nice say nice too? Oh, that was a stingy. Um the artificial ones that have the snow on them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Oh, those are so pretty. So pretty. And some of them are um you literally have to touch it to realize that it's not mm -hmm. a real tree. But I'm sorry, nothing beats a real tree. I they don't never know. have that real tree smell. No, they don't. And you can't mimic it. I don't care how many candles that mm -mm. air wick comes out with or no. whatever. There's no mimicking. It's different. <clears throat> I think, though, if I were forced to have an artificial tree for some reason, then I think I would do, like, I don't know, maybe table center pieces or something yeah. with real tree. So at least you have some real tree smell in mm -hmm. the house. Somewhat. Oh, hello. That one's white. Mm -hmm. The last time it was funny, the whole left side of my face went. Oh, yeah. And my, and my tongue. Yeah. Were you trying to make that funny? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I just left the dentist. It was hilarious. He was <laughs> laughing at me. Did you hear what happened with Girl Wise? No. Okay, so I can't remember. What was the date, honey? Do you remember? No. That we were meant to go. Okay, so we drove two hours all the way down here. Um, I came in, and of course, the one girl at the desk, you know, recognizes me now, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, hey, Kelly, you're just here to see, you know, the lady from Girl Wise. And she was on the phone. She was busy. And um, she said, just have a seat, and I'll let her know you're here. And I said, okay, good enough, right? Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'll go to the bathroom first before we get started with this. So I went into the bathroom, came out, and the girl from the desk... Um, the one that handles your, what's your name? Melissa. Thank you. <laughs> um, she says, Nathan Kelly, come here for a second. And I was like, what's wrong? And she said, just come here. <laughs> and she kind of took me around the corner into one of the little consultation rooms. Mm -hmm. I guess because she didn't really want to, she wasn't sure I was going to freak out or not. <laughs> and she says to me, I'm, she said, don't shoot the messenger. I am so, so sorry. She's not here. And I was like, what? what? I said, what? I said, what do you mean she's not that well, she's been delayed or, you know, so like, whatever. I mean, if we have to go have a coffee and come back in an hour, not a biggie. It's, yeah. you know, shit happens. Traffic yeah. happens, right? Yeah. Um, and she said, she's not here and she's not coming. And I'm like, you're kidding. We just drove Ugh. two hours. And do you have any idea? Like, A, gas money. B, it's so hard on me being in a car for a long drive. Oh, my gosh. And she, and she just kept saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I said, honey, I am not upset with you by any means. <laughs> got nothing to do with you. So did she say why? What did you just do? I don't know. It stopped for some reason. Or okay. I'm back. Are you back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Action. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. She switched her days. And like when I oh. came in, Melissa thought she was here. She just said, oh, have a seat, Kelly, and I'll let her know. Yeah. And I guess she called back into whichever room it is that... She goes into to you know talk to people. Yep. And there was no answer, so she thought, well, okay, I'll just knit back and let her know that her her client is here. Mm -hmm. And uh, went back, and there was no one there, no sign of anyone. And she asked one of the other girls, and they said, um, she's not coming. I mean, even if we lived in town, you'd still be like, kind of, you know, you got up, you got showered, you got dressed, yeah, you pulled your four sore butt. We're gonna have to splice all these together. Do you need my help? No. Okay, well, I don't know why it keeps that one on me. Well, it shouldn't be. Um, yeah, even if you lived in town, you'd still be kind of like, oh, for heaven's sakes, you know. But when you've driven two hours, mm -hmm. right, and then two hours home, and, and that was the only appointment that we had in Oshawa that day. Oh, no. Ha, ah, there's a good one. Holy Dinah. <laughs> that hurt. 
um, usually we try to, um, you know, like I just, I just actually left my psychologist mm -hmm. here in town. So I'll try to like double up. Yeah, um, well, that makes sense. And have, you know, like, everybody's here, everybody's in Oshawa except my PT, my massage therapist, and I'm starting to see an osteopath in January. Mm -hmm. And she's in Lindsay as well. Um, but everybody else is here. Yeah. So, you know, trying to, you know, try to make two or three appointments in one day so there's not so much, you know, travel, time, cost, mm -hmm. agony. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right? That makes perfect sense. So we had driven down here that day just for that sole purpose, and she wasn't here, and she wasn't oh. coming. So we have rescheduled for December 4th, and you can bet your patootie that I am going to go. <laughs> Before we leave, I am going to be calling and just making sure Verifying, she yeah. is indeed there or is coming for definite. Yes. Before we even leave the house, because yeah, oh. I was so upset, okay. and I had myself so psyched, Dave, because yeah. I'm, I'm really like um, having a hard time with the whole stigma yeah. thing and the whole um, like I know I'm the one who brought it up to you, but. Um, because I've read so much about it and mm -hmm. I really am not a big fan of putting, you know, all these pharmaceuticals in my body and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. so, but anyway, I'm still struggling with the stigma and I'm still struggling with the, yeah, but THC used to give me massive panic attacks when I was in high school and scared mm -hmm. about that. You know what I mean? So I yeah. had myself just worked into a dither and then the day was finally here and it's like, okay, good. Now I get to go speak to the professional yeah. and, you know, get this worked out and dealt with. And then I get here and she's not here and I was like. Oh, that great. is so frustrating. I was very frustrated, yes. Poor wow. Melissa. She was like, I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was like, don't be silly. It's not your fault. I mean, you didn't do anything. It still really ah, sucks. Hello. How much do we have left? Did I have to pull up a little bit more? Okay, I was going to say, can we hit that trap, that rhomboid? Yes, we will. On the right? We definitely will. That is my, my nemesis. Mm-hmm. Must have just been the way that I that the, my vehicle was hit because it's the right side of my neck that's pushed that yeah. way, right? And it's the right scapular, right, you know, I think down sort of more down the right than the left. Yeah. I guess it just must be the angle with. Yeah. You know. You just have more spasm and irritation on that side. Oh my right knee lately! What in the blazes? I have no idea what's going on with it. It's it feels almost like arthritic kind of. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm very short and I drive very close. Did God just shut off again? Don't you know Oh my gosh. Splice. Um, what was I going to say? Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I'm so short and I drive really close to the steering wheel and I, everybody gives me shake their hands when I step the steering wheel, but it's either that or I need those those um, pedal extensions. You know yeah. what I mean, right? Because I can't reach the pedals, but I knew being hit from behind that my airbag was not going to go off. Right? Oh yeah, no. it's really funny what goes through your head in that fraction, literally fraction of a second that you have to react or mm -hmm. respond. And I, I thought you better brace yourself. All right, it's shutting off. I don't know. Don't worry if you get home and for some reason you have no footage, you can do it again next week. That's right. <laughs> or, or in two weeks. Let's see. Is it recording now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cameraman. He might be grateful. Cameraman, mm. you're out of here. What about over in here? Um, not too bad. Oh, more along in it's here. More, yeah. Still down further in here too? Yes, yes, yes. I have one spot there. My PT keeps telling me get a flipping um, uh, a tennis ball or yes. a cross ball. Or cross you balls can, are great for that. You can actually get the balls, you know the ones that have like it's all the little spikies all over it? Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. He said get one of those, put it on the floor, lay on it, put it right on that spot on that on that rhomboid there and just lay on it and kind of rock back and forth or, yep. or just stay still on it and just add like I would give anybody a million dollars to just stick a baseball bat in that spot and just Press on it dig in? Dig in and stay that way for like, I don't know, a year or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's not a bad salary then. Really it is. I'll pay you. It's We're honestly. good. We got them all there. Are we done? We are done. There. Come on.